Hello students, welcome to Grade 10 Science Lessons. And I'm your teacher, Maria Di Soriano. Let us recall what you have learned from our past lesson. You have learned from our past lesson that the Earth's lithosphere is divided into several segments called plates. Did you know that there are seven major tectonic plates? And these are Pacific Plate, North American Plate, Eurasian Plate, African Plate, Antarctic Plate, South American Plate, and Australian Plate. You have learned also that plates are gradually moving. Majority of the research findings of our scientists is that plates are moving at an average rate of 0.60 cm per year to 10 cm per year. As plates move, majority of the formation of earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and mountain ranges are happening along the plate boundaries. This geologic feature serves as basis in marking the plate boundaries. For today's lesson, we will discuss about the different types of plate boundaries. Examine the plate tectonic map. What do the arrows in the map indicate? Are all plates moving on the same directions? The arrows on the map tells the direction of movement of each plate. Each plate is slowly moving relative to each other, causing geologic events to happen along their boundaries. What are the different types of plate boundaries? What other geologic events could be formed by these types of plate boundaries? There are three distinct types of plate boundaries, which are differentiated by the type of movement they exhibit. We have convergent plate boundary, divergent plate boundary, and transform fault plate boundary. Studying plate boundaries is important because along these boundaries, deformation of the lithosphere is happening. These geologic events have a great impact not only on the environment but also on us. Let's take a look briefly on each type of plate boundary. Convergent Plate Boundary When two tectonic plates move towards each other and collide, they form a convergent plate boundary, or also known as destructive plate boundary. As two plates collide, a collision zone is created, and one of the leading edges of a plate will be subducted and destroyed. That's why it's also known as destructive plate boundary. Remember that there are two different types of crusts oceanic crust and continental crust. What do you think will happen if two different lithospheric plates collide? Let's further discuss on that on our next video lesson. So let us continue. Divergent Plate Boundary Divergent plate boundaries are locations where plates are moving from one another. It is also known as constructive plate boundary. As two plates move apart, it creates a zone of tension and forming gap where molten materials will emerge and solidify, forming geologic features such as volcanoes or mountains. Did you know? Most active divergent plate boundary occur between oceanic plates. Transform fault plate boundary. Transform fault plate boundary is also known as conservative margins. Plates slide past each other so that the relative movement is horizontal. In this type of plate boundary, no plate margins are being destroyed or formed. Rather, it forms mostly the shaking of the ground known as earthquakes. Did you know? The fractured zone that forms a transform plate boundary is known as transform fault. Most transform faults are found in the ocean basins and connect offsets in the mid-ocean reaches. Let's find out if you learned something from our lesson. Let's play a game. Can you guess? Can you guess which type of plate boundary occurring between African plate and South American plate?
You're correct. It is divergent plate boundary. Let's have another one. Can you guess which type of plate boundary occurring between North American plate and Pacific plate? That is correct. Transform fault plate boundary. Let's have the last one. Can you guess which type of plate boundary occurring between Philippine plate and Eurasian plate? You are absolutely correct. It is convergent plate boundary. Very smart. Please take note that the different geological processes occurs in each type of plate boundary will be discussed in the next video lesson. To summarize what you have learned, there are three main types of plate boundaries. These are convergent plate boundary, divergent plate boundary, and transform fault plate boundary. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. This is Mom Marian Soriano. See you in our next lesson.